So this is where the slides occurred last year, just up the road a bit. But that is the Great Mono Lake. You can see like the stalactite type formations over there. And uh, don't really have time to stop today. It would be nice if we did, but um, we gotta keep it moving. We're already kind of running behind schedule. Looks like they got this area back together pretty well here. Uh, but yeah, this is this is where the road was pretty much closed for quite some time last last winter season. So you're not going to see this site probably very often, so I figured I better stop and grab it real quick. What a beautiful time of year to come through here. So we're getting ready to drop down into Bridgeport probably in about 10 miles from here. This is pristine country here. Springs. That's some cattle country there. Let's look at that. Green, green grass. Bridgeport. There's the Bridgeport Inn. There's the old courthouse. Very historic little town. Really enjoy coming through here. take Sonora Pass this time instead of uh, going all the way up through Tahoe. It's just a little bit faster and it's still uh, a very beautiful drive so not a whole lot of people go this way so I figured you guys would enjoy enjoy going through Sonora Pass.
a big military base. Uh, I'm not sure what the name of it is. But it says right here, it's the Marine Corps Mountain Warfare Training Center. Pickle Meadow. Pickle Meadow is what they call it. So. A bunch of training back here with the military. That's all the soldiers there. They're uh, this is like a little training area here. You can see them out there. I'm not sure what they're doing. I think they camp out here. You can see them everywhere. Wow. A lot of water down there. So it's a pretty sharp climb up to the top here. We're, we're getting close. Still plenty of snow up at the top. So that was the top where now we're headed down the backside to the west. This is the Kennedy Meadows recreational area. Some camping here. I think the last time I came through here, uh, some fires had, right, look at that water. A lot of water right there running. So 
in some of these little cabins that were burnt. That river is just moving. see the devastation from the fire I think this was a couple years ago from what I remember that was uh, last time I came through here and it just wiped out this whole forest through here really devastating yeah this I think this is the little spot where uh, Several of these cabins were lost from what I remember. They were right up here. But it looks like uh, those might actually be rebuilt. Actually, I think they are. That's new. Those are, they look old, but they're new. Yeah, this place was completely burned up. Beautiful little area. Strawberry. That's the name of this little place here. Strawberry store. things flowing some vast areas of forest here so this is a camp here I think it's looks like a forest service camp probably the fire crews prepping for the season it's quite a good big quite a big camp now this guy here, he's moving. That's cool. Okay guys, we're coming out of the uh, Sonora Pass, down the back side here, it's a toasty, almost 80 degrees. So we'll be coming into Sonora, the town of Sonora, fairly quick here, we're just 10 or 15 miles out, 
and then we'll be dropping down into the San Joaquin Valley and we'll be shooting over to Tracy and take a look at that excavator. Bud's got to get a sniff. Sadie's, she's kind of curious too. What a change in scenery, right? That's a nice trailer. So there's the back way to Yosemite right there. Almost 90, almost 90 degrees over here. These guys are loading hay. I think those are walnuts. Pretty sure that's walnuts. I can't believe the traffic down here. It's, it's insane. Something's happened and it is backed up for miles, miles and miles. That freeway, this one. Not sure what's going on, but 
very thankful that I'm headed south and not north. These guys aren't going anywhere for a while. So this is it. 290 LC7A. It's got a pretty large bucket on it. Looks like it's a four footer. How we doing? Good. Okay, so this is the Hyundai. I think we made a pretty good deal on this thing. And uh, now I got to get a hold of Cal Low Bed and see if they can't get up to uh, get up here to pick it up next week. Look at these little guys. Now that is a mini excavator. It's even got a little a little grapple on it. That's pretty cool. Southbound headed to Bakersfield. Alright guys, I hope you enjoyed today's video. We made it back to Bakersfield safe and sound. Sadie Bud and I, after about 10 hours of driving yesterday to get over to Tracy to check out that excavator. Uh, had a nice little drive over Sonora Pass. As you can see, there's still quite a bit of snow up there. So that was kind of cool to see. But um, yeah, check out the uh, products on mypatriotshoppingclub.com. Like I said, like I've said, it's gonna automatically win you, uh, enter you in a chance to win that Ranger. And, um, or, or you can join uh, as a member to the channel. That helps out too. And very shortly, we're gonna have our, uh, our website up and we've got some merch designs that we're working on. Our logo for Mammoth Mountain Life, um, it's almost finalized and it came out really, really cool. I can't wait to share that. I should have something by Monday or Tuesday of next week. And hopefully we'll have the website up and running by next week and we'll be able to offer some merch, some shirts, hats, things like that. So uh, looking forward to getting that stuff out and um, just hope you guys are enjoying the content and we're going to keep trying to make it better and better. And, um, you know, now we're in Bakersfield, so it's probably not that interesting for you guys. I'll be here till Sunday. I'll, uh, if I see anything cool, obviously I'm going to put it up there, but um, we'll be back in Mammoth next week, back to our normal routines, and uh, hopefully uh, we'll get some good content for you guys. So thanks again for uh, tuning in and following the channel. We really appreciate all the support that we get from all of our viewers, and it's really been, like, I, like I've said before, you know, this has just been uh, a lot of fun for us, and I want to give back, um, and that's one of the things I was doing with that giveaway. You know, we made some money with the channel, obviously, off the con off the uh, the views that we got, and so it wasn't as much as I actually spent on the Ranger, but um, I want to put that stuff back into the channel. Like everything, um, it's not really about making money for me. Obviously, I want to create a, a large following and share share the Mammoth Mountain life with as many folks as I can. But um, it's not necessarily about the money. I mean, yeah, the money's great and it helps, but that's the thing. I bought that ranger and i'm putting that ranger back into the channel um, i did see a comment about somebody living in pakistan and you know obviously we're not going to be able to ship that thing to pakistan but um if you're in the continental united states um you're entered into the contest you got a chance at winning that thing so um labor day is when it's going to be given away we're going to be doing some uh uh you know we're probably going to Put that thing out at a couple different locations in mammoth and you know we're gonna give some some local mammoth folks a chance to win that thing if they're interested um so you know it's it really for me it's just it's just a way to give back 
I don't I don't need the money from the channel so I just want to put everything back into it and really make it the best it can be so I hope uh, you guys can appreciate that and looking forward to doing some more content and we will uh, we will be back at you very soon thank you